Melina is the first character introduced to the Tarnished, and yet she still remains one of the most mysterious. With the exception of the Frenzied Flame ending, her story ends with her sacrificing herself to set the Ur Tree ablaze at the Giant's Forge. Fortune is on her I've been thinking to myself, how should I structure this video? And I think the best way is to show the majority of the evidence first, and then go over my theory afterwards. And then for the final bit, I'll provide some more evidence just to help support it. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. Offer you an accord. Me? I'm searching for my purpose, given to me by my mother inside the earth tree, long ago, for the reason that I yet live, burned and bodiless. There is something for which I must apologize. I've acted the finger maiden yet can offer no guidance. I am no maiden. My purpose was long ago lost. For the first piece of evidence, Melina says she's burned and bodiless. The Erd Tree is close, only a little further till the foot of the Erd Tree, and the accord is fulfilled. It takes me back. I was born at the foot of the Erd Tree, where Mother gave me my purpose. Though now, everything is lost to me. I have to ascertain for myself the reason for which I live, burned and bodiless. Next, she says she was born at the foot of the Erd Tree. She also again says that she is burned and bodiless. If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, I ask that you cease. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos, devouring life and thought unending. However ruined this world has become, however mired in torment and despair, life endures. Births continue. There is beauty in that, is there not? If you would become Lord, do not deny this notion. Please, leave the frenzied flame alone. I shall see to the kindling. It is a purpose which I choose to fulfill. So please, leave the frenzied flame alone. Upon approaching the Three Fingers, Melina warns us not to inherit the frenzied flame. Life endures, births continue. There's beauty in that, is there not? If we proceed and inherit the frenzied flame, then Melano will return one last time and deliver an ominous warning.
you have inherited the frenzied flame. A pity. You are no longer fit. Our journey together ends here. And remember, should you rise as the Lord of Chaos, I will kill you. As sure as night follows day, such is my duty for allowing you the strength of runes. Goodbye, my companion. Goodbye, Torrent. Lord of Frenzied Flame. I will seek you as far as you may travel. To deliver you what is yours. Destined Death. A third piece of evidence, the Frenzied Flame ending. We can see that she now has black hair. Her gold eye has been dulled. And her gloam eye has been unsealed. In Greek mythology, there are nymphs associated with the forest called Dryads. The ones associated with the ash tree are called Meliae. It's important to note that Yggdrasil is an ash tree. I believe that Melina is the spirit of the Erd tree, and Merica is a spirit tuner, and was able to bring Melina back in order to do her bidding. So, the reason why I think this is because Hugh mentions being indebted to a spirit tuner, and he only talks about two other people, that being Rodrika, who says reminds him of the other spirit tuner they share the same hue in their eyes and Merica who he owes a promise to so if he's indebted to a spirit tuner and he owes a promise to Merica it seems most likely that these two are connected we also have to consider that she says she's burned and bodiless this is likely because Merica had to burn the Erd tree in order to take it over back in her time as well as her eyes being connected to the cycle of life and death when we unseal the rune of death it unseals her eye and so she is obviously connected with the Elden Ring She has a gift for spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. I spoke with the girl. She has a gift for spirit tuning. So I told her everything I know. I'm indebted to a spirit tuner I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Even time. Technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. 
the sheer terror of her. Here's one. My masterpiece to slay a god. That's all I've lived for. And my promise to Queen. And my promise to Queen America. But do me a favor and do. Do look after the girl. It's important to note how heavily connected the Elden Ring and the Erd Tree are. When America shattered the Elden Ring, she sent golden seeds flying all over the lands between, which are growing into minor Erd Trees. So what happens to the Elden Ring essentially happens to the Erd Tree. We can also see a depiction of what seems to be a prior variation of the Elden Ring in earlier days when the dragons ruled. We can find this in Malakas boss room and if we look closely we can see that there are roots tied throughout the Elden Ring. So this further supports the idea that the Erd Tree and the Elden Ring are heavily connected. As spirit of the Erd Tree, whatever happens to the Erd Tree happens to Melina. Her strawberry blonde hair used to represent the color of the Erd Tree's bark. However, once we inherit the frenzied flame and burn the Erd Tree, we cause our hair to blacken. To deliver you what is yours. Despite inheriting the frenzied flame and burning the world away, the Ur tree is still there. In fact, it seems as if the frenzied flame is spilling out of it, which would make sense because we did light the Ur tree of blaze from the inside out. Her eyes represent the circle of life, that is, life and death. Her golden eye representing life. It is now dulled because we have burned away the Erd Tree and all of the life of the lands. And her Gloam Eye has become unsealed because we unsealed the Rune of Death when we killed Malekith. When the Rune of Death was sealed, her eye was also sealed because remember she is tied to the Elden Ring. The Erd Tree is heavily connected to the Elden Ring. Heavens forbid, that is not the domain of mere men. The burning of the Erd Tree is the first cardinal sin. And you say you seek the power of the Rune of Death too? The Rune of Death goes by two names. The other is Destined Death. The forbidden shadow plucked from the Golden Order upon its creation. unbound. And the lands between are shrouded by death's dark fate. But the flames will also burn the impenetrable thorns. It is then. You'll be Elden Lord yet.